Hi guys, I hope you're all really well. Very quickly, this is a video which will be at the uh, slow to medium speed, kind of slower, um, talking about a story, about an issue. And the same video will be available, uh, the same topic will be available at a quick speed where I will be starting in French. As most of you know, um, I've had a bit of an ongoing struggle with trying to provide videos for everybody. Some people like French first, some people like English first, some people like to translate quickly from the French into the English, some people like to work out exactly what's being said. So the solution I have come up with is people that want things translated into French are trying to test what they would say so it doesn't really halt, hinder them or cause them problems if it's a little bit slower than they want. And people who are trying to test their French, ultimately, are trying to test their French against what people would sound like in France. So I've decided, for the most part, I'm going to try and speak reasonably normally, perhaps a little slower on the French videos than into the English, and then on the translation from the English into the French, I'm going to speak a little bit, sort of, more slowly just to help everybody out. So I hope that arrangement works. Do let me know if it doesn't. Okay, so like I said, the same, the same topic will be available in another video. Keep your eye out for it. It will be popped up at the same time. So today um, I want to talk to you about uh, how much I... Um, I want to talk to you about how much I love the doctors. <laughs> Je veux vous parler de comment j'aime mon médecin. Okay, j'aime mon médecin. I live opposite uh, where the doctor works. J'habite en face d'où le médecin travaille. It's really easy for me to go there when I'm sick. C'est très facile pour moi d'y aller quand je suis malade, ou d'aller là quand je suis malade. Um, at the moment, touch wood, I'm not sick. En ce moment, touche bois, Je ne suis pas malade. But um, uh, my joints are hurting me. Mes articulations me font mal. Me font mal. Um, and the reason I, it's important for me to go there, as you know, uh, la raison que c'est important pour moi d'y aller, comme vous savez bien, is because I love to do lots of sport, et parce que j'adore faire beaucoup de sport, okay? Um, I have a problem with the hip. J'ai un problème avec la hanche. Now notice I'm not saying l'anche, I'm saying la hanche. There are a few words in French where we don't join the articulation, the, the, um, the article and the articulation is hip. We don't join the L and the H. Il y a... Uh, uh, quelques mots en français où nous attachons pas uh, l'article et le H, ok, and the H, la N, hatred, for example, uh, haricot bean, um, uh, la hanche, hip, ok. So, I realized six months ago that I was having difficulty lifting my leg. Je me suis rendu compte il y a six mois que j'avais du mal à soulever um, uh, ma jambe. Uh, I used to dance professionally for 10 years. Je dansais, alors, professionnellement, au haut niveau professionnel, pendant 10 ans. Can I remind you, if it's for 10 years and it's happened already, it would be pendant, not pour. Okay? Um, so I accept that my joints are screwed. J'accepte que mes articulations sont foutues, a done in, yeah, uh, sont cuites, yeah, cooked, beaten, whatever. But at the same time, I'm 40, so I have to be careful. Mais en même temps, j'ai 40 ans, donc je dois faire attention. I like to ride horses. J'aime bien faire du cheval. And two weeks ago, I tried to control the horse with my right leg, and my leg didn't do what I wanted. <laughs> Il y a deux semaines, j'ai essayé de contrôler le cheval avec la jambe droite, 
and my, my leg didn't do, notice I'm using the rather than my, okay? Et the, the leg didn't do what I wanted. Et la jambe droite ne faisait pas ce que je voulais. Ne faisait pas ce que je voulais. Ou n'a pas fait ce que je voulais. Um, so I said to myself, Luke, that's enough. Donc je me suis dit, basta. So, um, although I live opposite, bien que j'habite en face, Okay, can I remind you, bien que, when it means although, takes the subjunctive, not that you'd hear it with habit, okay, but if it was although I'm doing my work, bien que je fasse mon travail. Um, obviously, uh, um, I live in a city, so uh, you have to queue, you have to get in line. Évidemment, j'habite uh, dans une grande ville, donc uh, je dois faire la queue, faire la queue. To get in line, to queue, same word in English, same word. Well, in, in UK English, to queue, same word in French, faire la queue. Okay, it means tail. But I get on well with the receptionists, so they try and help me. Mais je m'entends bien avec les receptionnistes, donc uh, elles essaient de m'aider. So I saw a doctor this morning, uh, and I went there in shorts so she could examine my leg. Donc j'ai vu un médecin ce matin et j'y suis allé en short pour qu'elle puisse, so that she can, pour qu'elle puisse examiner euh, la jambe. Um, um, she doesn't think it's the joint. Elle ne pense pas que ça soit l'articulation. She thinks it's a bit of tendonitis. Elle pense que c'est un peu de tendonite. Okay? Most itis, things in French, will be eat. Yeah? Um, so tendonitis, tendonite, okay? Um, the other one that you have, um, I'm just checking if anybody says anything else, anyone else in the world like Canada. Uh, no. So, uh, les amygdales are tonsils. So, for example, je me suis fait enlever les amygdales, I had my tonsils out. So tonsillitis, which is the most common common one, and amygdalite, okay? Amygdal, amyg amygdalite. God, I need to breathe for that. Amygdalite. Um, uh, what else is the habanitis? Conjunctivite. Uh, what else do you have an itis of? Appendicitis, upon the seat, yeah? So it will always be the same itis. Um, she's recommended that I go to a physiotherapist. Elle a recommandé que j'aille uh, voir uh, un physiotherapeute. Physiotherapeute. Um, it's the one I worked with five years ago when my back was terrible. C'est celui avec qui j'ai travaillé il y a cinq ans quand mon dos était terrible. And I've healed my back. Et j'ai guéri mon dos. That's to say, I can do all I want to do. J'arrive à faire tout ce que je veux faire. All that, not tout que. Tout ce que. Um, but, she also thinks I, I should have a scan. Mais elle pense aussi que je devrais avoir, I should have, uh, un scan. We don't say un scan or anything like that, okay? Or il devrait me scanner, they should scan me. Just to check that I haven't, I hadn't torn the muscle. Juste pour confirmer ou pour vérifier que je n'avais pas déchiré is when you kind of rip a muscle, okay? Um, uh, uh, or tordu would be like twisted, okay? In medical terms. Um, so I'm really happy, donc je suis content. Because um, uh, she thinks it's important. Elle pense que c'est important. She thinks it's important I can continue, I, I can carry on doing my sport. Elle pense que c'est important que je puisse continuer à faire mon sport, à faire du sport. Because it's part of my life. Parce que ça fait partie de, de ma vie. But my problem is I do quite a lot of volunteer work in hospitals. That's not a problem, but my problem is I do quite a lot of volunteer work in hospitals. Mon problème, uh, c'est que je fais beaucoup de travail volontier aux hôpitaux, which allows me to see people who have real problems, qui me permet de voir les gens qui ont de vrais problèmes, okay? Um, so I'm like, Luke, shut up, stop complaining. Donc je suis comme, Luke, tais-toi, verb se taire, taisez-vous yeah, or se taire, but it's like, um, or, or tais-toi, yeah? Reflexive verb, um, uh, subjunctive, que tu te taises, taire, like plaire, taisez, 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 but um, uh, 
don't tr say shut up to everybody. You know, it's not the best thing to say. Um, uh, ruder versions of shut up are are ferme ta gueule or ta gueule. Close your mouth. Um, good. Also, um, it was quite funny. Aussi, c'était assez amusant because she wanted to check I didn't have a problem with the knee. Parce qu'elle voulait savoir que je n'avais pas de problème, not having would mean a de, uh, uh, avec le genou, avec le genou. Because she said sometimes a problem in the knee, uh, we can feel it in the hip. Parce qu'elle a dit quelquefois un problème uh, avec le genou, au genou, uh, um, peut se faire sentir, can be felt, uh, how can I give you that in an easy way? Um, uh, appears, apparaît, uh, with the hip, avec la hanche. And she was checking my flexibility, et elle vérifiait uh, ma flexibilité, or le, le niveau de ma flexibilité. Um, and she was like, okay, <laughs> I can see you're very flexible. Okay, je peux voir que vous êtes flexible, monsieur. But she was very nice, and I hadn't seen her before. Elle était très sympa, et je ne l'avais pas vue avant. Okay? My normal doctor is called Miriam. Uh, mon médecin normal s'appelle uh, Miriam, okay? She is uh, adorable and I get on really well with her. Elle est adorable et je m'entends très bien avec elle. I send her a Christmas card. Uh, je lui envoie enfin, une carte à Noël. Although she's Jewish, bien qu'elle soit juive. Oh well, my mistake, mon erreur. Um, uh, but she's fantastic. Yeah, she's fantastic. Um, at the moment, I'm trying to check emails from my students. En ce moment, j'essaie de vérifier les emails de mes étudiants. So, um, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to finish my work. Je vais m'en aller et je vais finir mon travail. So, I hope this sad little story about my illness, <laughs> about my broken body, has given you some interesting French. J'espère que cette histoire toute triste de, de mon corps euh, vous a offert euh, un peu de français. Ok, guys, see you next time.